it now appears that Governor Murphy is doing ads for Pennsylvania and Florida. And I'll be very specific. I'm going to read a statement. If you're a one-issue voter and tax rate is your issue, either a family or a business, if that's the only basis upon which you're going to make a decision, we're probably not your state. When a governor says, we're probably not your state because I don't really care about taxes, that to me is an arrogant statement and it also sends the wrong message to the people in the state who have hope for some change. You're basically saying that I'm going to ignore a state that has the highest taxes in the nation. In the region, we have the highest tax rate for corporate taxes. We have the highest rates for things like sales tax. We have some of the highest property taxes, obviously, in the region, and some of the highest income taxes in the region. And he says, if your issue is taxes, well, New Jersey's not your state. This is why balance in government is so important. I have not heard one Democrat in the Assembly criticize this governor for saying that taxes and taxpayers are not important to us in our state. This is outrageous, and I'm sure the governor would want to clear that up or clean that up, and I'm hoping he does because I don't want an advertisement for Florida coming from our own governor. Clearly, we have had proposal after proposal. The Republicans have put forward 2% cap on state spending, just like every municipality has. We've said we should have unlimited property tax deduction for your property taxes, not at $15,000. We've said get rid of the marriage penalty We've talked about other reforms, and this governor gets up and says, well, New Jersey, you taxpayers, you're paying too much. Well, maybe you're in the wrong state. Absolutely outrageous. That's issue one I wanted to talk about. The other issue is a piece of litigation that a trial will start, I believe it's October 25th. This is litigation against the state of New Jersey and one of the remedies asked for is to consolidate schools, possibly at the county level, and eliminate the local control of schools. For example, in Westfield or in Cranford. This litigation that's going to trial in October, one of the remedies requested is to no longer allow the local parents in a local town such as Westfield to control the school and have a local school board. I am asking for Governor Murphy to state what is his position on this. What is your position on whether or not you're going to eliminate local control by local parents of local schools? This is a case against the state of New Jersey. And the issues in that litigation are broad, and they deserve debate on the floor of the legislature. They deserve a response from the governor. But to allow a piece of litigation to continue that would e end the Westfield Board of Education, end the Cranford Board of Education, and end the Summit Board of Education, and turn that over to a county board of education, the governor needs to address the position of this state as to eliminating local control by local parents of schools. Those are the two issues that I wanted to raise today, and I'm hoping that we get a response from the governor and from members of the state assembly on the Democratic side. Happy to answer any questions.